Hey, my name is Jive. This is my sessions. And that's a rooster. So you know that we really in Antigua. All right. Rolling ocean. Crash between her toes. Sand built the coastline. She tight roped yesterday to her back. Facing tomorrow with the Panamanian sun set in the most black of her mouth full of clumsy English. Rickety on her Spanish tongue. Shuffling Caribbean accent marked inconspicuously, she blended in Jamaica, where Cuba gave her the son she spoke clumsy to in Canada. West Indian camouflaged her Panama, invisible, mistress of disguise, toggling West Indian syntax translucent at the border in full masquerade. My grandmothers are dream catchers, hopscotching countries, jumping identity double dutch, Watching greener shades of brown grass darken every time she landed behind the language barrier she clutched yesterday's tongue under today's image, exercising her phonetics to flip acrobatic English easier for her foreign tongue was Spanish in Jamaica, Jamaican in Canada, Canadian in New York reaching for citizenship red taped out of range with immigration on her heels until her last breath evaporated above Los Angeles as black as planned, her maple leaf colored children sifted, accent free, obscured. Behind Jamaica, Panama was blindfolded, monolingual. My tongue now rolls as rickety as her English did three countries before, one cold shoulder ago. Latin America recognized me no more than Jamaica did. Call me American boy, under breath. Over unbroken speech patterns lost in translation, I felt invisible. While visibly in neither command of enough Spanish nor Patswa to correct the secrets hiding her inside of me, undetectable. Even in death, she lives around the border of my eye, while I, tongues away from the language she learned to speak in the New York of my voice two generations away. And I'm in the dark of this dance hall. Multiple Spanish reggae tones mocking the star spangled portion of my red, black, and green footwork falling off of every drum beat. Chuckle that be this collage of a woman. Tildes between her locks and pots while flowing from Latin roots when she smiled. She smiled me still. When she spoke, she spoke me speechless and somehow made me homesick for a place I had never been. Boom. All right. So, so, I don't know if it looks weird to people. I'm like, I do a poem, and all of a sudden, all right, back to casual guy. Okay, all right. Here we go, next poem. The embargo split us before our parents were born on opposite sides of a missile crisis. His grandfather lost their English on the way to Havana. I picked up Spanish, but it falls under the pressure at the table, after the lunch table. He finds a bed in the bottom of a beer bottle runs from it, back to our family reunion. Our grandparents were cousins. Now they are dead conversations that can't be reintroduced in the moment because the translator is in the bathroom or walking back or far enough for me to see our native tongues are not indigenous to our bodies. They are proofs of purchase replicating on autopilot. They are auction block fugitives pledging allegiance to the branding iron. They are African voice boxes crushed into blood diamonds bought and sold on the black market no matter how far from the plantation. Me and my cousin still ain't free to meet. We can't even speak without a master of both present to translate our trademarks. Right. Look, in Antigua, one of my favorite places to be, I think, Antiguans to figure this out, because every time I see an Antiguan outside, I say, hey, I'm in Antigua, I love Antigua. Hey, okay, you know, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. The pan yard makes my hands press against my Brooklyn window. Condensation rearranges the street into a road and gold wings sprout from my back 
and mud and paint and water fly in the air. I swim in the sound being Caribbean American means flag wave and shoulder fling until you find home inside of a daydream. Carnival is road march and emancipation, masquerade and liberation, burning flame, body heat as sweet as a plantation roof on fire, as sweet as a slave master running for his life. Oh Lord, the whole place mash up, mash up. The whole place burn. Oh Lord, the whole place mash up. Mash. Everything shelf down, musical notes. Helium balloons floating me high enough to see VC bird fly in the face of the British sea. Queen Claudette Peters wear nine crowns at the same time. See, Sir Vivian Richards rewrite the definition of cricket sea. The Antiguan island girls roll across the Atlantic Ocean and still make it home in time for juve morning. They call me Mr. Fett since I born me never miss one yet. Sunshine and I dripping wet, thunderstorm and I soaking wet. And they say, Mr. Fett, you're mad. And I say, Mr. Fett, you're mad. And I say, and I say, it don't matter my name because my body is now the Brooklyn window. And I am every ancestor trying to break free into the soothing island breeze where there is a different sandy beach for every day of the week. And we eat black pineapple and stay at breakfast fet well past dinner time if you want me to go. If you want me to go, you can't be looking the way you do. You can't be cooking the way you do. You can't be hooking me behind this, this behind this, behind this Wadadli experience, behind this big truck mist experience, behind this brewmaster t-shirt moss experience, behind this rattling window experience, rattling me all the way back home. All right. Okay. And now for my next number. All right, no. <laughs> Ready? All right. We didn't practice that fist bump, but it worked out just fine for now. All right. This poem, I'm going to give a little bit of context for it. This poem is a warning from the bottom of a slave ship to all of the people in this hemisphere because I believe if we were able to communicate with each other, maybe things would have turned out a little different. Arawak woman, my fear is this warning may never reach from my throat to the alarm of your intuition, for we share no language to express the danger your people face. They are not safe. They will be ripped limbless. Their blood will run to stand you fearful. Stand you motionless as the armadas come, soiled in deception, soiled in the stink of self-righteous, they will move. Pulpit murder on breath. Vatican permission slipped in sales will blame religion for malice and brand you savage at sword point, plant flagpole in womb, scar accent mark on vocal cord, colonize child before birth, they will find pleasure in conquest. Pleasure in possession, pleasure inside you they will take against will, suspect tea in your tears, curry in your spine, gold in your skin, will break flesh to confirm, not care of your screams, care of mine, care of the villages they will burn, the dance they will condemn, the customs they will smoke out of fear, mistake our models for nothing holy, they carry firearm, at fingertips smuggle us, in the hull of their ship you will not be spared, they want to slave trade you, they want to cotton field you, they want to tobacco plantation you, keep them in your skepticism. Trust the bumble of your instincts. They predator, they predator, they predator, they predator. You pray, 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 pray behind every jungle trap set. Every poison dart dip blow into their path. Every hex you can chant curse. Every spear to their chest conjure. Whatever deities you need raise. Whatever spirits you need run, 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 run into fatigue. Come cramp into collapse. Come hide into strength. Come pick up your feet. Pump your arms into flight. Come into broken wing crash. It's a broken hip poor woman. They want to Latina you. They want to Caribbean me. They want to Western us into their second class native sister. We will not let them. We will not be their sugar cane. We will not be their molasses. We will not be their rum. We'll, we'll machete them first. We'll jump overboard first. We'll return ourselves to the sun before we ever let our 
sons grow into their cattle Before we ever let our daughters dry From foreign suckle we will resist the cross of their blood From the cross of their church to the church of their hate Mistake our models for nothing holy Disease and rats will come Pain and shackle will come Against culture of cruel We shall be the Igbo women With open warnings With bloody, 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 bloody on our backs Thank you, everyone. Oh, I know. On our backs. All right, homie. Good luck. Get out.